Christmas. Happy New Year's. Franklin St. John's, all of our friends and our loved ones, I greet you in the name of Jesus and wishing all of you the very best. God bless you.
is the pastor's prayer and conference call. You can call both by the same number to join in. The telephone number is 712-770-5005. And the PIN code is 790-7718. Building repairs. Repairs have been made on the roof, the ceiling, the parking lot, and the side window of the sanctuary, which cost approximately $4,500. We have received to date $740, leaving a balance due of $3,760. Each member is asked to continue to give sacrificial offering to the fray of the cost of the repairs and the loan reimbursement. The Franklin St. John's Christmas Children Youth Gift Distribution. There is a, a registration so that a person, a child, or a youth can receive a Christmas gift. And the date will be given later as far as when they can pick up their, 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 their gifts from the church due to the uh, coronavirus. Franklin St. John's, we are celebrating our 49th anniversary. It has to be rescheduled due to circumstances of the coronavirus and the restrictions that we have here in the city of North. We will be celebrating 49 years of service to God and the community. We are asking each person, each member, to give a donation of $149 above their tithes and offerings. Our goal this year is for five thousand dollars, and to date we have been we have collected one thousand four hundred and twelve dollars, leaving a balance of three thousand five hundred and eighty-eight dollars. The Christmas flowers from Setas that, that that you see on the altar, they can pick, be picked up at any given time. You just have to make an appointment with the uh, church office, and that would be regular cook. And I know the number is listed in, in the program. And these are the num these are the announcements of the day. And we thank you and we say God bless you and Merry Christmas. Let us pray our hearts for our affirmations and faith. Amen. Amen. Good morning, in church family. My Bible is God's the bond and given. I
the one who is our mighty counselor, Prince of Peace, Mighty God. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal great God, we thank you for the great gift of Jesus Christ, your Son, who's come into this world to take the world on his shoulders. The one who comes to be our wonderful counselor, to guide us and direct us to be your sanctified people. We thank you that he is not only our wonderful counselor, but he is the Prince of Peace. In this troubled time, may your peace overtake the world. In Christ's name, amen. <laughs>
Well, saints, as we have been brought to Christmas Day, particularly in this pandemic time, a year ago, we did not have this child. But now we do. And as we're in this challenge, I believe that Isaiah 9, 6, on this Christmas Day, has a message that will help each and every one of us to walk through this pandemic knowing that we have the Lord Jesus Christ on our side. The Word of God says from Isaiah 9, 6, a child has been born for us. A son given to us. Authority will rest upon his shoulders. His name will be Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. And Prince of Peace. Well, friend, as we are in this pandemic, if we will just hold on to the Word of God, he will take us through. Because the scripture says that he has authority and it rests upon his shoulders. And his name will be Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. This means as we understand his word, that no matter what you're going through or how much your back may be up against the wall, we are not by ourselves. Christ has come into this world on this Christmas day. Let's not focus on Santa Claus. Let's focus on the reason for the season that we may celebrate that Christ has come into the world. The Bible says his name will be Emmanuel. That means God with us. He's God with us to remind us that no matter what you're dealing with, and there are things to deal with, not just the coronavirus. If you're raising a family, you got things to deal with. If you're going to go to your job, you got situations to deal with. Yes. Live in this body. <laughs> Deal with the aging process. You got things to deal with. Somebody, as we are celebrating Christmas Day, is dealing with. I talked with Mother Connie today. She's in Washington, D.C. And she shared with me all the people that she had seen under a train track, a bridge, for the track to, to the train rather, to run on over a bridge, and people lined up with their housing on the side because they have no place to stay. But friends, even if we find ourselves living in places that we never thought we'd live in, we are not by ourselves. God is with us through Jesus Christ. Who is our wonderful counselor? Counselor. Give advice. Well, friends, all counselors are not just in the courthouse. There is a mighty counselor, God Almighty, in the appearance of Jesus Christ, who's come to be God with us. To give us counsel. To help us to walk through things that are challenging. Somebody is standing and wondering which way to go. And there is the evil one. That is the devil, who will do everything he can to steal, kill, and destroy, and to break down everybody's spirit. But friends, Jesus Christ was born to not only be our wonderful counselor, but the mighty God. Mighty should remind us now that there's nothing that can pluck us out of his hand. You know, there was a singer 
Last name is Hammer. And he says, you can't touch this. Well, friend, there's some times, there's some popular music that can help us to get through with our faith. Not that when I say get through, I'm talking about to hold on to it. Not throw it away. Or run from it. But to hold on to that nothing can pluck us out of the hand of God. Now that doesn't mean that there won't be situations that will try to make life unbearable. However, somebody's got to believe that there is power, wonder-working power, in the blood of Jesus Christ and in his supernatural word. God sent it, and I believe it, and that's enough for me. Not only is he our mighty God, but he will be our everlasting father. And the Bible says in Isaiah 9, 6, he's come here to be Prince of Peace. We need peace all over the world. Somebody needs peace in their home. Peace on your job. Peace when you're facing the doctor's report. Peace when it seems like all your money is funny. You need peace to even deal with the Things that come through our minds. Somebody's nervous right now. Somebody's worked up. And no matter how much you talk to them or counsel them, the more they get worked up. But I want to suggest today that we have a Savior who is ready to be everything we need to run this race. He has the authority of the government on his shoulder. Our reliance, yes, we depend on our government, but there's some things that the government cannot do. Sing a song in our church, can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my friend. Well, sometimes, if you put all your eggs in the basket in political parties, it depends on what party you are representing for that moment. But with Christ, who's come to be in this world with us, he is going to work it out for us. Even if the majority does not favor what it is that you need. Sometimes the majority can be totally wrong. But thanks be to God. God who was born to have authority for government to rest upon his shoulders. His name is wonderful, Consular, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. He is the Prince of Peace. So whatever is coming our way, whatever we're dealing with, somebody is all upset. I can remember once, Mother, that Right here in this very house, it was Christmas Day. Our children were very excited, opening their gifts. And the saints had really brought to them many gifts. Nonetheless, let me tell you something. As I recall, on those same steps in the hallway, our second son, Reverend Ralph Bunch Terrell was a little boy and he was crying because he was upset. Well, saints, why was he upset? He was upset with mother and father on Christmas Day. We said, son, this is Christmas. Why are you crying on the steps? He says, because I got all these gifts from Santa, but I don't have anything from you and mother. <laughs> then we gave him an a brief lesson on who really is Santa. Well, he cried some more. <laughs> well, friends, what I'm trying to say to you, there are people who are upset right now. And they're upset because they didn't get a certain gift for Christmas. Or they're upset because 
they're not able to go certain places today. Or maybe because of the pandemic, they're not able to have their families in because the virus has spiked to such a high rate. And they're upset. But I believe that somebody is experiencing the peace that only God can give us through Jesus Christ to help us to be content with what we have and to be thankful. So on this day, Christmas Day, let's just remember that a son has been born to the world, the Son of God. His name is Jesus. Authority will rest upon his shoulders. His name is Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. I'm extending this invitation to anyone who's hearing this message today on Christmas Day. Let Jesus come into your life. All you have to do is to ask him to be your Savior. He's ready to take on your burden our sins, the world on his shoulders because he's well able to be the wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father. On this Christmas day, he is the Prince of Peace. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you.
Thank you for joining us in the Cyber Sanctuary. We truly pray that you have been blessed. Here are our additional announcements for the week. We extend sympathy, love, and prayers to Sister Esther Martin Tyndall, Brother Kingsley Tyndall Jr., and Sister Esther Tyndall and family on the death of her husband and his father and her father, Mr. Kingsley Tyndall Sr. Please keep this family in your prayers and reach out to them. Funeral arrangements are to be announced at a later time. Please continue to connect with the church by participating in the following activities. The prayer experiences that you can participate in are Morning Glory Prayer, which is held every Sunday at 9.45 a.m., and the Pastor's Prayer Conference Call, which is held every Wednesday morning at 6.30 a.m. The call-in number is 1-712-770-5005. The PIN code is 790-771-POUND. The Agape Food Ministry is open to the community on Wednesdays from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Please come to the food pantry. It is open to all members. No questions asked, no forms, no papers to fill out. Please come and be blessed. The Sunday School continues to meet in the cyber format. The Sunday School is now meeting every Sunday from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. The call-in number is 978-990-5000. The access code is 249680, pound or hashtag. Superintendents are Brother Edward and Sister Joanne Metal. Please join the Sunday School as it is dynamic. And lastly, the Music Ministry's Zoom hookup continues to meet. They meet now on Tuesdays. If you would like to join them, please contact Sister Cookie Green for the call-in number and the access code. This Zoom hookup is open to all members of the church. Christian friends, these are our additional announcements for the week. You may give your tithes, offerings, and gifts by doing one of the following. Use the mobile app Givelify. You can download the mobile app in the Google Play Store or the App Store on iPhones. Look for Franklin St. John's. Click on it and you can give your tithe in three taps. You may also place your tithe in the tithe box, or you may mail your tithe to the church, or you may give directly through our website. The link is listed underneath the description of today's service on our YouTube channel. Christian friends, the building is closed, but the church is open. May God bless you from the north, south, east, and west until we meet again. Know that a miracle is coming your way.